The podcast you are listening to of Holmberg's Morning Sickness is brought to you by my friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Trust me on this one. You've had barbecue before, but you haven't had it this good. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com. Eric's Family Barbecue has arrived and is simply the best barbecue in Arizona. Come satisfy your taste buds with meats that are smoked over mesquite wooden sides that are made with fresh ingredients and tons of love. They have the best, juiciest brisket, pulled pork, rib sausage, turkey, or everyone's favorite, the Pitmaster Sampler that includes all the meat and four sides. Mac and cheese, potato salad, coleslaw, corner beans, yum. And for dessert, try some creamy banana pudding. Amazing. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meat, mesquite, repeat. Make the trip. You won't be sorry. Dine in or take it to go. Go to Eric's Family bbq.com for more info right before we get into brady doing uh his brady report we find ourselves that jeremy's out there this morning we forgot about jeremy we got all tied up in the pussycat talk oops he's on uh, 107th avenue and west olive avenue whoa uh, that's out there a ways today he's he's out there we're gonna have to keep him out there a little longer this morning because we started late so nobody knows where he is yet but uh jeremy's is he on the phone no, my you know, oh, I, I text son him. of a so and so. Anyway, he's out there this morning. Operation Hydration is going on now. That donation we got from the drinking team was so ridiculous that I'm not sure where where we're going to put this stuff. But we got to keep going. Uh, the Phoenix Rescue Mission has their big water drive every summer. We're happy to be part of it. Jeremy's out there this morning, 107th <laughs> Avenue in West Olive. You're out there today, Jeremy. I am. I see uh, the Luxor light from here, my friend. <laughs> well, you should just keep going, and gamble, man. It's a beautiful thing. That's right. But uh, you're collecting water out there. What else you got for us? You got pussycat tickets for the people? We should have dropped off a couple there. No, Mark Randall said that was only for uh, for the chancellor. Oh, okay. Well, good. Then I get to divvy those out as I see fit. Smart. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, what do you got for us? Yeah, well, I got the normal stuff. I got CDs, DVDs. I got bandanas, stickers, all that good stuff. Collecting for Operation Hydration. Huge thank you to Bry. Uh, she just stopped by, gave us 15 cases to start us out. So uh, we got a good start out here at the nice. Safeway. Come on down, donate, get some free stuff, and uh, give to a good cause. What, did she follow you? We haven't even said where you were yet. That's impressive. She walked up and said, hey, I didn't know you guys were here. And I said, yeah. She's like, go buy some water. I was like, you should do that. And she did. <laughs> oh, my God. You got us that easy. You kind of you forcibly <laughs> made her buy water, which is a good move, Jeremy. Well played. You're very influential. Listen, that's what I'm out here for. That's exactly okay, I'm right. I'm shuck and jive, all right? Yeah. I'm collecting water. <laughs> that's right. No shucking and jiving, my friend. Is that still a thing? <laughs> or wow. Said, right? Can you get yeah. canceled yeah. for that? Oh, yeah. I was hoping that's yeah. And, and my <laughs> man's Look, good at it. By the way, Jeremy, if you do start to shuck and jive, be careful. You get, you get in trouble for that nowadays. All right. Safeway out there, 107th <laughs> Avenue in West Olive. Jeremy will be out there this morning. Already a good start. And we're just now finding out where you are. Slipknot corn, all that stuff out there, too. Uh, we'll talk to you, Jeremy. Good work. We'll see you. Thank you, sir. There you go. It's Jeremy uh, out there all morning doing his thing. As only Jeremy can. Shucking and jiving. That does sound <laughs> filthier than it needs to, doesn't it? Uh, there you go. Uh, it's time now for Brady to give you all the news that only Brady knows. It's brought to you by our friends at Hooters and Mick Ultra. It's Thursday. Hooters makes a great burger. Did you know that? Oh, yeah. It starts with a two-quarter-pound burger patties. This is right down your alley. Two-quarter-pound burger patties cooked to perfection, Brady. That's how they do it. All month long, you can score select specialty burgers with fries for $10. A saw buck gets you a whole meal. That's a good deal right there. Are there menus out there that say uh, we don't like perfection? Yes. Uh, Porkopolis. And unfortunately, it's no longer with Oh, sorry, Brady. (laughs) Cooked to genuine standard. Average. (laughs) Cooked deep to average, average standards. <laughs> Man, the burgers were good there. Our, oh, cooked to passable. Our <laughs> milk toast burger is so incredibly average. Real meat. That's where we stop. Yeah, try <laughs> real choice meat. Come down to Porkopolis and try the new Middling burger. <laughs> it's okay. No, of course everybody has two quarter pound patties. They cook it to perfection. Never, ever is it not perfect. But now they've also got the Cha-Ching Chavez. And also, before we move on, we have to say, uh, we met the real Chavez last night. The guy that was the reason Cha-Ching Chavez has its name, his ex-wife was uh, on her Instagram uh, making you, comments. His photo. And you, his photo was her, was her profile pic on Instagram. So we thought it was him. He's like, no, it's my ex-wife. We were already separated when she did that. And uh, when we attacked her, on the air for getting mouthy about Brady's awesome success. When Brady got his brand new platinum Ford truck and said, here's my kick-ass new ride. And then gave a tour of it. And she goes, 
Must be. And then Brady swung his, 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 for the first time ever, hit a woman in the face. She with got a, hit with a button. Got hit right there in the, in the face <laughs> with Brady's little button. It is nice. Success. Hashtag me. <laughs> we turned that into Cha-Ching Chavez and it became a beer and we met him last night. He couldn't have been a nicer person. And he's on his third wife. Yep. And I, I saw it in her eyes last night. Well. Well, I said. Enjoy the ride. It's going to be a fun 18 months. I mean, his history tells you everything you need to know. She goes, we're going to be together forever. And I saw it in her eyes like, please don't talk anymore. <laughs> I hope you're right, but hmm, history is my guide. Old hat trick over here is going to have a quad. He's got the law of averages. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of profile yeah. pictures lot of him on of different the, uh, listen, social. Yeah. Listen to how he talks about Cha-Ching Chavez, the ex-wife. Ah, it doesn't work. I finally got this one now. He's trading him in the way Brady moves cars. Every six months. Yeah, every six, seven months. I'm kind of tired of this one. I'll get a new whip. Just got another ever call. Yeah. This one's forever. I mean it this time. You want to touch on this one? Emergency, what would Brady do? My dad's leaving for Sturgis tomorrow. Should I put his yard on Swimply while they're gone? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, Swimply that pool. Anybody oh, ask you to watch their house for side them? money? Swimply that pool. You must hate your dad. Yeah. Well, Toledo would... Uh, Love it if his dad was off to start. If Toledo could swimply his dad's pool, it would be great. Anyway, uh, Brady, please report it. Good Thursday morning to you, Phoenix. Hello, world. Happy National Underwear Day. I'm failing that one. I was going to say. 68% of Americans say they usually wear a pair once and then wash them. Yeesh. That's what you're usually supposed to do. 68%. 13% said twice before they wash. Ah. Two. One six percent say Ugh. three to five times, oh. and three percent said six times oh, or God. more. Oh, what a <laughs> That's three percent just trying That's to muck disgusting. up the curve. Look, let's root for COVID. Uh, <laughs> How many is that percentage? That were that do the six to whatever days of uh, no three percent. Okay, so out of seven billion people, so there were th- there was a hundred people at uh, Four Peaks last night. 3% three percent of them, them haven't of them washed were... their underpants in six days. I say three days or more. I want COVID to take out that entire population. So Look that at was you, Vader. How many? There's three percent of the one, and how much was the other one? Of three, six percent, three to five days. Okay, so you got nine percent, seven to nine. I don't know how math works. Thirteen percent that are uh, two times, and then in the that's hamper. too many. So I'm going to say ten percent of the population disappears. That's pretty good. That's uh, what seven hundred million people. Yeah, go get them Delta okay. Plus because <laughs> gross. I don't wear underwear because I'm so pristine in the area. I don't need it. It's for drippings, droppings, and catchems. And you throw that stuff in the washer. Fart filter. It, it's not. If you're fart, if Brady, if you need a filter for your farts, you're. Sh- <laughs> you don't wear a carbon filter, Brady. Down there? If you need a filter for your farts, you've just taken a. Sh- See fecal mist. No, oh, Brady. I agree with that's me. called no, taking a. When you actually have remnants of something after a fart, you didn't fart. <laughs> you. Sh- That's not what your underwear is for, is to make sure it doesn't leak into the next batch of fabric. You clean yourself, for God's sakes. Wash your ass. And for crying out loud, underwear wearers, wash those every single use. You put it on your jeans? All of them. I don't put it on my jeans. You could go back there right now and take a lick, and it would be no different than my elbow. Spotless, soaped up, brilliant, glorious thing. I don't have fecal mist. That's called taking a. Sh- it is. If Grandpa farted, and you're like, "Oop, mist in your pants." What did he just do? It's different with Grandpa. He took a dump. He pooped his pants. Got a couple of basis fun facts. <laughs> there hasn't been a U.S. president under five foot nine in over one hundred years. Who was the last? The last one, William McKinley, 5'7". I uh, was 6'3", and then uh, suddenly I was 5'8". Oh, man. That's a big chunk. <laughs> a large chunk of my top end came off there. They I was, uh, uh, had that happen there, and uh, official uh, height at uh, death was 5 feet 8 inches. Looking at Jackie neck to eye. <laughs> <laughs> I was slouched a little. Joey B's listed at 5'11". He's only 5'11". What was he at his peak? Because he's in his 80s. So. And he's... He's probably 6'3 at one point. In China, Guardians of the Galaxy is called Interplanetary Unusual Attacking Team. It's the best Beastie Boys song. (laughs) 
<laughs> I want that rematch. Oh, Which, man, that'd be good stuff. Why Chinese people? Maybe the Cleveland Indians uh, or the Guardians should take that then. Yeah. Idiots. San Juan County, Utah is bordered by 14 other countries. Uh, other counties. Sorry. I was going to say. No, it's which not. Is the most, <laughs> Clarence Carter. Uh, which is the go. most any of any county in the country. You know, I didn't even load up the It's Stroken song, hoping that you wouldn't have to go there. You're already off. That's not even close. That was a pretty good stroke. No way. Utah. Is... Yeah, that is. No, That's no, a good no. one. There. <laughs> John, I'm with you. You can't wash your undies if you don't wear them. You're welcome, That's Earth. right. Thank you. Same. I, I choose to wash my ass and keep that thing clean all the time. You dudes do realize you're going to a heavy 3% party tonight, right? Oh, yeah. Huge. <laughs> I know I know when I'm surrounded by it. I still want COVID to kill it. Doesn't mean I want it around all the time, but I do know it exists. Six days without washing your underpants. You're going there with a can of Axe uh, body spray. No, I'm not. Just hose the area off. I think my son was in danger of being there for a while. He wouldn't wash his pants for six days? I'm like, he had those, he had those underwear because he likes going around the house in just his boxers now. I'm like, what's going on with Yuck. you? What? It's hot. Turn him in. I'm like, knock it off. And you were wearing those yesterday. Nuh-uh. Ugh. Uh-huh. God, that thing's gross. That's son of yours. High five. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, Deep high go. five. And to Toledo's dad, tip one out to him for never having to deal with it. <laughs> Got some important foodie news. Okay. Cookie-filled M&Ms are coming. Excuse me? Just like instead of the oh, peanut yeah. M&Ms, they're yeah. filled with cookie dough. Cookie dough or uh, just cookie crunch? I don't know about that. Oh, it's cookie good. They, when they do the little M&Ms with mints. Baked and then cookie got... batter. The caramel M and M's are awesome. Really, that's right. good. It'll be good. Got to wait a year on it. They'll roll out next March. Why announce Toledo? That? This is what you'll be excited about. Noodles is rolling out a new flavor. <laughs> Another thing my boys are into right now. Wait, where's the O? I thought it, it has an O as well, but they say cup noodles. Okay, maybe. But um, cup of noodles. They're soon. coming out with the pumpkin spice cup oh. noodles. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it will be in Walmart beginning in October. It's gonna stay in Walmart. No, it's not. No, it won't. It's going to fly Sell off out. the shelves. That pumpkin spice thing doesn't make sense to me, but people go nuts for it. Huh. Would you look I don't at get that? into the pumpkin spice like beers and stuff, I too. I don't it's get just, it. Yeah. Would you look at that? It is just cup noodles. I thought it was cup of noodles. So did I. It's out. not. It's cup noodles. This isn't good English. In America, we throw an O in it. Whoa. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried about you. <laughs> And uh, Mountain Dew's 2021 Halloween soda will be in stores later this month. Pumpkin Spice Did you Mountain know they did thing? this? Yeah, they, in 2019, they roll out a Halloween flavor, the Mountain Dew Voodoo. Hmm. First year it was a candy corn flavored Mountain Dew. Ooh. Last year was a fruity candy explosion. This year. Snickers. Not sure. You'll find out on. <laughs> Snickles. August. <laughs> the pickle. The pickle amazing. Snickers. And this was a little the last little nugget foodie in the foodie world. Someone threw out a way to eat honey. They said freeze the honey and eat it like a popsicle. It gets chewy. Well, the uh, Cleveland Clinic just talked about it because a lot of people are experiencing diarrhea. They're saying yes because honey is forty percent fructose. It can shoot right through you. Right. It won't uh, you know hurt you, but you're going to have some. Loose, splats for you a have while. some loose stools. As yeah, Brady so said. Quit eating too much honey. Fecal splats. mist. Yes. <laughs> fecal mist. You'll have oh, more fecal mist there. What happened? What do you mean fecal mist? I farted and spray painted a wall like a Wagner power painter. That's taking a... Sh you know that, right? No, it's mist. <laughs> you don't have a nozzle on it to control mist versus thickness. Sure you do. No, your you don't. Your spray nozzles, you can have Yeah, you can for your Wagner power painter. Explosion, rooster not your tail. Your, all things you're describing are taking it. <laughs> we got a guy in northern Michigan. On Tuesday, he decided to start huffing some nitrous oxide behind the wheel. Laughing gas. It happened in the upper peninsula, peninsula which is a town in um, upper Michigan, basically. The town's name... Nagani. I think it's an Indian tribe. Um, named after. Oh, well, we got you. Yeah. <laughs> it's Guy's 32 happening. years old. He had two kids in the car. Passed out after huffing a couple of... Sure. 
went across the median, totaled the car. <laughs> Everyone's okay. Came out, but you look at the car, it's right. a mess. All huffing behind the wheel is bad. Yeah. Knock I don't care off. what the what the thing you're huffing is. It's a distraction. I think Bray's been huffing too. <laughs> Keeps me going. Is that a, I'm not so that sure. a I got a wild America. Is that okay. a cavalier that he crashed? What is that, Brett? Yeah, I think so. It's one of those. They had to take the top off of it. Whatever Chevy, it is. Yeah, it's a middle car. <laughs> it's one of those. Oh yes, go is get him, kid. Magnum. Hello, my friends. I'm Brady Bogan, and this is your Wild America. It does have a Magnum look to yeah. it? Yeah, the back end. Yeah, it doesn't say the car. And well, it's not a car anymore. Some guy was uh, fishing in Nags Head, North Carolina. Pulled out a sheep's head fish. Have you ever seen them before? I've uh-uh. I've caught sheep's head, but I don't remember the sheep's head in Florida looking the same as the uh, ones in Nags, Carolina. Um, they've got adult human teeth. Oh, cool! They've mouth. got full on. Wow! By the way, nothing from bread on Nags head. That's really awesome. Look at the teeth Whoa. on this thing. Oh my god! Wait They're, a minute, is that multiple rows? Uh, I don't know what those are. His Look at the, his upper and. Lower? Oh, you're saying like a little, like sharks? Well, yeah, back look, up. It looks like he's got more in the bottom like, of his. People in Apache Junction would be jealous of this fish. This thing has a nice set. They're straight. They're yeah, they are. Those are a good set of choppers. There. What do they eat? Um, like that's like apples. That's for eating apples. Whatever they can get in that their has mouth. To be Photoshop. Those are human teeth. Those, that doesn't look Come right. Come on, those are human teeth. We're questioning it. Yeah, they look like human teeth. I don't know about that. That thing's for real. Yeah, let's look it up. Or Brady's oh, been in the water up. again. It's and on the New York breeding. Post. Mm, it's real Z's. It's real Z's. It's Brady's worst nightmare. Sheep's head fish, Brett. All right. Yeah, it's a worst nightmare. It's got a it's a teeth, Brady, because he yeah. loves those fish. In the no wrong good. Way. No, you want you want them toothless ones with the big mouth. Yeah. Oh, that or, it's, it's, that's some evolutionary love like, yeah. from oh, Brady's that's, ancestors. Yeah. No, yeah. it's it's legit. Actually, they have oh, human yeah. teeth. Look at that! Wow. That is strange. And it's striped. Wow. Are we just now discovering this, or is this a... No, they've been I around. Feel like, but I don't remember. I, I feel like we should have known maybe about this. Douche. He doesn't have as good a teeth <laughs> as the fish. <laughs> Most fishermen don't. Mm. We did all right, right there. Yeah, I had to right go, oh, wait a minute. Ooh. Whoa. His daughter holding that fish. She's got some big cans. Yeah. That's, that's the best <laughs> she <laughs> pulled up. <laughs> Look how fast that turned. We're not even yep. on the fish now. How yep. fast it's a different does the fish, internet turn you on to? Like, I'm looking at this fish with teeth. Look at the cans on that one holding it. <laughs> and now it's just hot fishermen. That's a snook there. <laughs> when did that? That was, a, that was three oh, degrees of what we were looking at. That did not go the way it's supposed to. There's the one. You went from fish with teeth to smoking hot girls in bikinis holding fish. Yeah. Yep. That's the internet. And I love Look it. at this. All right. Wow. <laughs> That's a nice snapper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Enough of that. Moving right. on. That's your wild America. All right. In Idaho, they have a the famous Preston Knight rodeo. And so one of the guys famous. was riding. It's, oh, it's huge. <laughs> this guy was riding a bull. Got kicked off. The bull heads to the stands. And tries to jump over the fence. It clears most of it. There's a little safety cable on top of after you get over the initial fence. And it snaps the cable. Almost makes it to the stands. Uh, the still shot that I'll show you. See how close it was getting. But the one guy, the one cowboy, um, to the right of the bull, got his Glock out just in case. Gonna it go further. Hell yeah. <laughs> He's going to ice the bull. <laughs> But Just he did not. Case. He didn't pull the trigger. One more the step. clowns came over and got the bull out of the stands. One more step. You go over the lawn <laughs> doctor's ad and I'm getting you. Wow, that is close. Well, that's the, isn't that kind of the cost of doing business at a bull show? You might get hit by one. I've never heard him really. <laughs> try go to, out there. I've seen videos I know, of but popping up. Actually charging is this it? Yeah, this is, supposed this to is the video of the bull just like, yeah. Well, this is what happens when you put electrodes on a testicles of a... 2,000-pound thing. He's pretty calm right there. When does he lose it? Here he comes. Here he comes. (laughs) (laughs) It's not so fun anymore, is it? It's not so fun. Oh, he goes right at him. (laughs) 
<laughs> Jesus, people. <laughs> you waited for the last second to get out of the way, and that's your reaction? Wow, that's all. We did not expect this to well, happen. Well, you know, I thought the barriers were more secure. This rope should have held that thing. You go to a bull show. It's what you want. And it might happen. Hawaii officials wrongly arrested a homeless man for a crime committed by someone else. What happened was uh, the cop, the guy was sleeping on the street. His name's Joshua uh, Spreestersbach. The homeless guy. Is. Homeless guy's okay. name is that. And the cop wakes him up, says, you look like uh, Tom Castleberry. And he's wanted for right. outstanding a, war- a warrant for this crime taking you in. I'm not. I'm. Josh uh, Spreestersbach. Sounds uh-huh. like a made-up name. Right, yeah. yeah. I would, if I was a cop, I'd do the same. Two years later, they figured it out. He was oh, in, wow, he's in the can for two years? They, they took him to the psych ward. Right. And also pumped him with some medication. And the one guy's like, you know what? After two years, let's fingerprint the guy. And Oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Thomas Castleberry's on a different island. <laughs> after two years, well, after they two years, to fingerprint And then look. they go, you know what? We made a mistake here. Uh on your way, and here's the uh, 50 cents that uh, was in your pocket well, look, when we checked you. It's the best thing that happened to that guy. He well, was sleeping on the streets, and they gave him a house for two years and free food. Well, the Hawaii Innocence Project got a hold of it. All right, they're going to give him some money. Yeah, but he's in Vermont now, living on his sister's 10-acre farm. Beautiful. And he will not leave the property because he's like, if I leave, they're going to pick yeah. me up again. Look, if I was homeless and somebody came in and said, I think you're a this guy, like, yeah. oh, yeah, what's going to happen to me? We're going to give you a bed and three meals a day. And I'm like, oh, okay, Ooh, that's me. I'm that guy. I'm not him. Yeah, better than sleeping on the streets. I'd take jail over that. Let's get to some radio videos. Okay. Got a couple of gems. A good uh, you girls sent, getting hit. But, you sent um, a passel of them yesterday. Yeah, I sent you four. This one kind of uh, rattles me a little bit. Okay. There's shenanigans going on in the house. A girl is, it's, uh, they're higher ceilings. So she's maybe coming over a little ledge that looks down into the living room. Second floor drop? Second floor drop. Okay. So she's hanging on for a little bit and then. Was she just jumping off the second floor off like a. I don't know if she was jumping off. I think she was just kind of climbing down. Let's take a look. Here's her friends laughing at her. She's, oh, her legs are breaking. Yeah. Oh, the fish tank's going to get it. Yeah, watch oh, this. Oh, she's hanging over the fish tank. Oh, oh right into the... Th- I cried. Oh. Yeah. Cause the, yeah. Now what is Brady going to masturbate to at that house? The fish tank's There broken. goes the baiting. Oh. 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 She Sorry, looks, what are you doing? She looks pretty good. I mean, she's dumb as a stump, but... Oh, that's why she looks good. So she was she trying to go this. from the yeah. second floor to the first floor through a little opening. I can't floor... Walk like hallway. Yeah. And she thought it would be They're cute just, to hang out yeah. of that and then lost her grip. And Pandemic killed, killed a bunch of fish. <laughs> Next guy's just uh on his on the deck out of his pool, Swimply. relaxing. This is a Swimply guy. Oh, okay. this is yeah, Swimply, but he didn't know there's attractions. Okay. Added oh, attractions. There's a bear within Brown like bear. five feet the of him. Guy oh. doesn't move smart. Right. Now watch when the bear Jeez. turns over and checks it out. Hey, well, the bear walks right to him. If he's the, dead, the i got to check it out. Maybe. He's sleeping, isn't he? He, he sniffs his, his toe, and then he checks to see if it's alive. Now he moves a little oh bit, and the bear God. takes off. Oh. So the guy takes his phone. i got to get a picture of this. Holy cow. They're not going to believe this. It came back. Oh, no. That's no, it's the video. Over it's called Looping. <laughs> it's like, Instagram. It goes back. I'm, I'm like, I watched this a couple of times. You seen this. That bear just Toledo came back. found another one. For five hours, the bear came back like a hundred times. There's a guy having fun with his... Uh, same I'm thing watching. happened. Bear would come that. and check on him over and over and over. So many bears. This is a guy having fun with his Alsatian. Okay. That's a German Shepherd to Americans. Brady thinks it's a good thing to call them something else. Oh. He's going to get eaten by his dog. Got a head he knock. It. What right do you do? Out of the rock. Oh, oh that's into oh, a. That's, wow. Oh, God. He jumps over his dog into a, a shallow pond. Look at the dog. Let's play. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a concussion. I could have told you going into this that that's the, the smartest member of that family is the German Shepherd. <laughs> the Alsatian? No, the German Shepherd. The last one's a guy deciding to get some good photos of some crocs as they feed them. Smart. Oh, yeah. Check out how smart this guy is and how lucky. He's an inch and a half away from two of them. There's Whoa. two. Now watch this third one kind of creep over here. Oh, I don't oh, like yeah, this. You can barely see him. Yeah. I don't like this. 
Know, he's looking the other way. Oh, I don't Here like it this comes. at all. I don't like this at all. Oh, oh it's man. close. You've been watching the chicken. Oh, man. <laughs> I love the slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Well, that's just dumb. Again, you photograph uh, those things within an inch of, of them feeding, and that's what's going to happen. We have, like, hiker laws. <laughs> yeah. Where we, you got to pay for the EMTs to come get you if you do. This is another one. Like, if you're sitting there feeding Crocs and taking pictures. We'd be constantly bailing Brady, him out of jail. Brady climbing a hill and getting to a Chuck Walla just to be like, if your story sucks, you should have to pay out of pocket. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing? Oh, I climbed a mountain and I tried to grab a lizard. For what, what reason? Oh, uh, to they hold were, the lizard. All right, they were there. Insurance doesn't cover that. But I broke my ankle. Yeah, but you didn't have to. You're an idiot is what you are. There's got to be an idiot rule to sitting an inch and a half away from a crocodile getting bit and having a doctor go, okay, we'll cover this. Cigna shouldn't do it. United shouldn't. None of them should do it. I think uh, this was probably like in Costa Rica and they don't care. They're like, take pictures. Good luck. Right. Which I prefer that lifestyle. Like, hey, if you're going to hang around the crocs and the alligators and things like that, you're going to get eaten. So you're uninsurable. Like having a house in a fire zone. Just you can't be insured. You are a fire zone, moron. Uh, there you go. That's it. There's your Brady Report, uh, brought to you by Hooters and Mick Ultra. We'll talk to Jeremy once again in a little bit. Uh, he's out there this morning at 107th Avenue and West Olive. Uh, he's got Operation Hydration going, trying to fill that truck with more water for the Phoenix Rescue Mission, fifth largest city in the nation. There's no reason we should ever be short on water for people who need it. That is a fact. So the Rescue Mission does their job to get it out there, and you guys help out. A ton. So help him out this morning. 107th Avenue, West Olive. We'll talk to Jeremy next. There goes your Brady Report. You guys partake? I'll partake. Hit me. You've been listening to Holmberg's Morning Sickness Podcast, brought to you by our friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com.